You know, we share sketches all the time of criminals, kidnappers, and killers police are desperately trying to catch. In fact, we're all familiar with this Delphi sketch from the still unsolved murders of Libby German and Abby Williams. But what goes into creating these drawings? Tonight, our Jenny Runovich takes a look at how a police sketch artist helps witnesses and helps fight crime. Picture a face from memory. Now, what if you only saw that person for a few moments during a crime? Could you describe them? Provide a portrait that other people recognize? Well, with each pencil stroke, Trooper Taylor Bryant, the sketch artist for Indiana State Police, has to bring those crucial memories from victims and witnesses to life. You want activity, people calling in, because possibly one of those tips or call-ins can lead to an apprehension. While most of his time is spent patrolling the highway, Trooper Bryant has done about 70 sketches for police departments across the state, including this high-profile picture we've seen a lot. The man police believe killed Abby and Libby in Delphi. It was a sketch created from a witness. That's about all I can say. This face and that witness he's not allowed to talk about since the investigation's still active, but it's a sketch he really hopes leads to an arrest. Yes, I believe, you know, the whole country, you really would like to see something come of this. Trooper Bryant started sketching suspects in 2008. State police were looking for a trooper with artistic ability, and Bryant has a degree in commercial art. So he trained for three weeks with the FBI. On how to interview witnesses, how to talk to a witness, how to not ask leading questions of a witness. And he learned the most important part of the job happens before pencil ever hits paper. This is a four-hour process that starts with an interview. Sometimes it's a harrowing experience for the witness, so, you know, sexual assaults, things of that nature. So you want to get a um, get them to um, more or less trust you to do a drawing. Then victims go through an FBI catalog, choosing facial features that match the suspects: head shape, eye shape, nose, and hair. With those set, Trooper Bryant finally starts to sketch. Yes, yeah, so you start with a grid to um, just give you, you know, placement. Checking with the witness for accuracy. And awaiting that light bulb moment when recognition sets in. Response of, oh, wow. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the guy. When the drawing goes public, the goal is to generate tips and get an arrest. That's happened a lot for Trooper Bryant, and some cases stick with him. Yes, yes, and that was like maybe my second sketch. Like a deadly attack in Brown County in 2008. Two teenage brothers got arrested and convicted after the sketch he did with 77-year-old Mary Voland. Stabbed and badly hurt, she watched her husband, Richard, get shot and killed in their own home. I remember doing the sketch at the hospital. I mean, this is the week that she was, you know, recovering from her injury, and I had to listen to her story, and she was a very, very good witness. He says the suspect cut his hair after the crime, but people still recognized him and called in. Within two months of that sketch's release came the arrest. The growing use of surveillance cameras has cut down on the need for composite sketches, but when there's no video, DNA, or fingerprints, a hand-drawn sketch using this trooper's skill can give victims back their power and bring bad guys to justice.